Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Viva La Juicy Rosé. So this perfume was launched last year and is another one of the spin-offs to Viva La Juicy's, or Juicy Couture to Viva La Juicy. Um, I actually got this perfume as a gift from one of my really, really good friends, Lizzie Shreds. I'll put a link to her YouTube channel down below. I love Lizzie. She's awesome. She does really, really good reviews. Definitely someone to go check out. Um, sometimes she's better at getting reviews out faster than I am. So definitely go check out her channel. And thank you again to her for her getting me this. Um, Viva La Juicy Rosé's box looks like this. And it says Viva La Juicy Rosé. Viva La Juicy is here in kind of a rose gold color. The words rosé down here kind of written across. Um, it kind of fades from like a light pink down to almost like a... Or a brighter pink down to almost a more pale pink and then up here is kind of in like a glittery iridescent color um so that you can see we're on both sides it just kind of got that glittery top with the filigree and then the bottom's just the barcode the bottle looks like this um and it's kind of a pinkish uh glittery up here and then it fades down into a gold it's got that signature Juicy Couture logo on the front with a cute little bottle of champagne with, I don't know if you guys can see this, see if I can get my camera to focus close enough on it. We'll take the lid off. But in the bottle, there actually is some cute little diamonds in there. And then the bow is kind of a sheer pink one, kind of like how gold was the year before where it was black this one's kind of a sheer pink color almost reminds me of the same uh bow if i don't break things that's on the viva la juicy la fleur like they're the same bow almost um and then like the charm and the clip are actually in rose gold the only thing that i feel like juicy messed up on was i feel like they should have made the the bottom part to this cap gold as well just it would have made more sense in my opinion so just that just my opinion um notes for this one are top notes of italian mandarin fresh william pear and jasmine petals middle notes are rose centerfold absolute white peony and jasmine sandback with base notes of oris oris absolute benzoid and ambrox um, this perfume is based around the party girl and is supposed to be representational of um, rosé champagne. So, definitely, um, when you first spray it, I get the florally notes, um, but I definitely feel like the rose is the standout note of this fragrance, um, which is weird. I get why they called it Viva La Juicy Rosé, because it's supposed to be like a rosé champagne, but I feel like it should have just been Viva La Juicy Rose. Um, I get kind of that, I get the pear, I get the mandarin, but it's very light. It's overtaken by that, uh, the rose floral in the middle. As you get down, definitely, like I said, that rose is really powerful, really out there. If you don't like rose fragrances, you will not like this. Do not blind by it because you will be greatly disappointed. Um, Jasmine Sandback and the peony petals are in there. I can smell them, but like I said, that rose is definitely the standout prominent note of this fragrance. As it dries down, you got the, the Ombrox, you've got the Oris, and you've got, what was the last note in here? I'm totally missing something. Benzoid. So, it dries down, you get the Oris, and you get the uh, Benzoid to kind of provide a warm sweetness to the base, but it's still very, very rosy, very um, floral. All the Viva La Juicy fragrances are known for being that kind of sticky, sweet, warm, uh, caramely kind of note. Even the Viva La Juicy La Fleur, which is like a floral fragrance, this is still s sweet. And this is, I mean, this is still my go-to for Viva La Juicy. Definitely my favorite Viva um, spinoff. 
But this one is really, really floral, uh, a little more mature than the other ones are. I feel like it's almost more of a spin-off to the original Juicy Couture or Couture La La spin-off than it is a spin-off to Viva La Juicy. I feel like if they would have thrown in like a toffee note, a berry note, and like a vanilla, it would have been more of a of a Viva spin-off than it is of like an original Juicy spin-off. It's just too floral in my opinion to be a Viva spin-off. Just my personal opinion. Lasting Power, it does really get a good lasting power as most of the Viva La Juicy fragrances do. Um, lasts about 8 hours on me. I do get complimented on this fragrance, but not as much as I do on like the Viva La Juicy La Fleur or like the original Viva La Juicy. Um, definitely kind of a more spring and summertime fragrance as it is, um, that, like I said, it's very floral. So it definitely fits its way into the spring and summer. And for me, kind of reminds me of Easter. I'm not too sure why. Maybe because that's like more like the springtime when you're getting the florals kind of coming out. That's what it makes me think of personally. So there is my personal review of Viva La Juicy Rosé. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description as below. And wow, I just messed that up. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Bye.